Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Do whatever your soul is guiding you to do. If it's guiding you to just watch, go ahead and do that. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender or negative energy in intent. Being sent to you and your families immediately and permanently, 10 times full. All evil plans of the enemies have been dismantled against your life immediately and permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. So last night, was it last night or this morning? Somewhere early this morning. Um, so I woke up and went back to sleep. And I find myself at this mansion. Okay, I find myself at this mansion with my three kids. I do have three kids in real life. And I'm carrying the younger one on my hip. She's four years old. She's a four-year-old diva. So to keep the peace, I just kind of do what she says sometimes to say, okay, I'm not about to like keep dragging you. So I'll just carry you. And this is what happens <laughs> in real life too. <laughs> So I'm carrying her on my hip. I'm wearing this white dress. It starts, uh, it's like a flary dress. It stops above my knee. And I'm carrying my baby. My older two are like walking with me. We end up at this mansion. And there's people everywhere. Literally people everywhere. And we see people like working in the pool. They're pulling, putting pink roses all over in the pool. Like at this point, the pool is covered in roses. You can't tell there's water under there because of how many roses they've put in the pool. So we're kind of there. It just seems strange. We don't really feel welcome. We feel out of place. We're the only ones there and we just feel out of place, but we're like, oh, well, at least we're together. So, you know, it's not that bad. We can talk to each other and things like that. So there are like pool workers, they're working, they're still kind of making sure everything is okay with the pool. And I'm like, if they work with this, if they do one more thing with this pool, I'm going to lose it. So anyways, there's a guy there and I notice him. He's part of the crew that's working on the pool. When we initially arrived, they didn't even seem happy to be doing what they were doing. That's going to come into play later. They didn't seem happy to be doing what they were doing. Um, but I didn't really pay it too much attention. We just kind of kept walking around, trying to chat with people, but no one really wanted anything to do with us. So we end up in this um, section of the mansion. We're walking up to the door and it, and water starts pouring. It's like the door we came from had been shut and the door we were going to, there was water pouring from under there. Uh, so we obviously couldn't go that way. So we're like, well, let's turn around and go back out. Uh, so we are going back out. The door we came in to, came in has disappeared. The windows are like shut down. The bl there are blinds covering it and there are other things that are covering it. So this is us here. This is the window and like this all comes of covering, right? And then on this side, there's a whole meeting going on. So the people there know we're there because the windows were not closed before. Um, but when that water started coming in, that's when the windows closed and there were blinds coming down and stuff like that. But there, there's a whole meeting going on here. There's a long table. And around this table is all people sitting there having a meeting. And we're struggling to get out of this place. Um, the water is just coming in. But for some reason, we're not afraid. I didn't like get a sense of fear. Somehow we managed to make it to another door. Is that like this door up here or something? And we unlock it, we open it, and we walk out. But, you know, remember I said we had turned around to go back out, so we should have ended up by the pool, right? We do not. We end up on a whole other side of the building. Is that we were on the south side of the building, and we ended up on the west side of the building, simply turning around to go out. Um, The people in this place, this gathering, they just seemed out of it, like there was some type of work going on behind the scenes, like magic to keep them stuck. Um, so we end up, I'll say on the west side, but it's not really, but we end up on the west side of the building. We come back to the pool. 
now the person the people that were working the pool you know they're all excited and they want to talk to us but there's only really one person talking to us and it's the guy that i had noticed earlier he's the one talking to me and he's trying to tell me how how much he loves his job as a pool guy he really enjoys it he's been doing it for a long time um and i don't look down on anyone's job but it just seemed like it was a practiced speech. Is that like he was trying to be relatable, but you could tear behind tell behind his eyes he was not happy. And I just kept getting this sense of being trapped. Like people were trapped in this place that like they couldn't get out. Is that like when they were there, things were normal because everybody else was in the same situation as them. We were the newcomers or something. Um, and they were trying to give us like speeches to make us feel like we were where we belong and everything was okay. But, you know, I'm a menace to society in more ways than one. I'm really good at reading people. So I was like, no, something is not adding up. But I didn't say that out loud. I just listened to his, you know, practice speech that he was giving me. And he was telling me, yeah, I really love my job. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, blah, 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 blah. And I'm trying to be courteous. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's good. That's true. That's that's, that's really nice. Um, but he just didn't seem happy. It's that like he wanted out. Um, it's kind of like going somewhere, living with a group of people, and you're trapped there. You can't get out. Maybe there's something going on behind the scenes, and you don't realize you don't realize that you don't know why you keep coming here why you're stuck here you can't leave but that's because there's something going on behind the scenes you don't know it and i've worked for a company like that before it's like the people in the company you could tell they were trapped there like things had happened before i got there throughout their employment with this company and they were trapped but the higher ups had these people thinking that they were part of a family dynamic and they operated on principle they looked out for each other but there was nothing principle about how the people in the company behave it's like they were all like just in competition to prove how malicious they could be um none of them trusted each other they didn't really like each other but for some reason they thought they were part of some type of family dynamic like we are this family and we look out for each other, but they're not really looking out for each other. They're just kind of malicious to newcomers. It's like it, it's like a ritual they put you through. If you can survive all of this, then you're part of us. But someone like me, you'll know off the bat, I don't care to be part of you. I'm, I will reject something before you tell me I can't have it because I already know it's not for me. So you don't even have to tell me, hey, you can't have this. Do you want to be part of us? I'll let you know in some way, shape, or form that I'm not interested. Um, but this company that I worked for, I just remember the people in there, they will be talking to me. Like they're telling me one thing, but it's like I could hear their stories. It, there's this one woman, she came to talk to me one day, and I, she was talking to me about work and something about changes that we could make. And literally, I could hear her story like I've been trapped here for decades i don't know what else to do i can't go anywhere else i'm trapped i could literally hear that and then there was another woman that was talking to me and i could hear her saying he makes me sleep with him or they make me sleep with them or something like that and i just said these poor souls they're all trapped here and they think that they're a part of some type of communal sense but there's no communal sense it's like really toxic um, that's kind of the feeling I got in this mansion. It just, it looked like a beautiful place, but there was nothing beautiful going on on the inside. It said you walk up to a palace. The palace is very beautiful on the outside, but when you go on the inside, it's literally like really dead on the inside. Like there's nothing, there's nothing flourishing on the inside. The only beautiful thing about this mansion this palace whatever it was was the pool with the pink flowers that they have put there right so anyways we end up at this pool and the guy is talking to me we don't want to tour the place anymore obviously because of the experience we had and everywhere we're going there's this woman following me well following us basically it's this caucasian lady with blonde hair she has like those knitted sweaters caucasian women like to wear and it was off her shoulders hers was white she had the white sweater on black pants the black pants were like dress pants but pants but they were flary 
um, kind of wide leg at the bottom with her sweater off her shoulders. And she kept following me and my kids everywhere we went. And I kept noticing her. She wouldn't say anything. She was just following us. Um, and I'm like, why is she following us? And I realized I've seen this woman before, but it wasn't in a dream that I saw her. I've seen her in two visions before. And this was like maybe a year, a year and a half ago. But every time I saw her in my vision, she was always crying. And I'm always like, why is this woman always, look at that. Why is this woman always crying when I see her? Like, you have got to stop showing me your face. Because, like, th the crying she's doing is, like, tears pouring down her face. She's Her nose is running. She's wiping her eyes with the back of her hand. It says something horrible must have really happened. Or someone is trying to leave her. And she doesn't want them to leave. It's like she just looked depressed in the dream as well while she was following me around. But anyways, we end up back to this pool. And also, when we went into that side of the building where there was water coming out, she didn't follow us there. I guess she didn't want to die with us. So we end up at the pool at the end. I have my daughter on my hip. My other two are next to me. And we decide, you know, they have cleared the pool. They've taken the roses away to a certain extent. Like they were in... Like they were like halfway through the pool and my kids and I, we decided, and I think this was divine intervention. If we had not jumped in, something was going to happen. So with, and I already know this is unlike me. I don't mind like soaking in my bath, my cleansing baths and things like that. But as far as me just jumping into a pool for fun, that's not me. I don't like my hair wet. It is absolutely a no go for me. So I tell my kids, let's just jump in. When we jump in the pool, we don't even feel the water. It was like we had jumped through a portal and I immediately woke up. And it was just like an interesting experience. I'm like, what in the world was that? Some of you may be getting invited to some type of event. Be absolutely cautious. There's something malicious going on. People may want to recruit you to join some type of organization, some type of cult. These people are trapped in there. They cannot get out. And you're like their last hope or something to some of them. They think you can help them out or they don't want to see you free and going on about your life. They want you trapped with them. So just be mindful. And again, if you're new to my channel, I'm going to tell you do not be in a hurry for anything, whether it's love whether it's success, whatever it is, do everything at your own pace. Take things one day at a time. Do not rush into anything, please. You don't want to trap yourself in something you don't belong in. But I think us jumping in that pool was divine intervention. Like, hey, this is not where you belong. Get the heck out. We don't care how we have to get you out of here. We're getting you out. And all of us, all four of us, we jumped in that pool and I woke up. It was a nope. That is not your place to be. But yeah, I don't know. People are in something. There's a group that's into something. There is a group that's into something. They've been in it. And then we see the moon out here. Is this water, honey? I'm not going to get too technical because anyways, there is something about, you know what? A lot of my readings have been having to do something with a union. People trying to block a union from coming together. People trying to pick a fight with someone. There is something, some type of ulterior motive about someone wanting to partner up with another person. They know you are absolutely abundant. There could be a woman behind the scenes that's interfering with this connection coming into being, into place, being manifested. It's that she's either with someone that she knows you're meant to be with. And she's doing everything she can to block this union. Someone may want to pick a fight with you. Maybe they're watching you, stalking you. Who knows? It could be the woman that was following my children and I in the dreams. This woman could want to pick a fight with you. It's that she wants to get you out of character. She wants to do something, right, to get a reaction out of you. But you're not getting a reaction. And I think the fact that you are not getting a reaction. She's not getting a reaction. You're not giving a reaction to her and you're still standing your ground, has led to some type of victory for you. Someone has been doing something behind the scenes that involves a relationship that's meant to be, right? There's something about a relationship where two people are supposed to come together. It's going to lead to abundance, but she does not want you 
and this person together. This could be an organization as well that's doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your abundance, right? Someone or a group of people may want you to keep your mouth shut. They may want to want you to keep your mouth shut about something. They may be trying to hide something from you or there's someone around them that they are trying to hide something from. It's like, hey, that's his twin, twin flame. We cannot let him know that, that he, that's his twin flame. We need to make sure that they don't come together. But you two coming together is going to lead to abundance. Someone wants to get you out of character. This is what I'm getting with this nine of pentacles and this page of swords in the reverse. Someone wants to get you out of character. They want you to scoop to their level, argue with them, respond to them. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's childish. It's, it's immature. This is you collective. And this is the person that wants to pick a fight with you. Someone mental is shaky, shaky. As I always say, someone mental is imbalanced. This woman is like wanting to pick a fight with you. She's not intellectual. This is not someone smart. Okay. This is just someone that's, this is someone unhinged. This woman has a lot of issues going on. A lot of issues. And this is the energy that she or they want you in. They want you feeling defensive. They want you in some type of combative mode. They don't want you to appear to be intellectual, whatever it is. But you're standing your ground. You stood your ground against these people. And it has led to a victory for you. I don't know what it is. It's like this year or this era, this new era started off with like crazy people trying to block unions and things of that nature. It's like it's their goal. We have to block them from being together. Yeah. Someone, <laughs> someone is really determined to get you out of character, but you're staying in this character. Someone is bothered by your confidence. They don't like the fact that you're beautiful, you're educated, right? You're someone that's logical. You don't just, you're not unhinged like they are. You're logical. Someone thought they were going to get you out of character just so that you could lose something. Someone could see you in a light that's not yours, or you could lose access to some type of abundance. But this is you. You stay this way. And this is this person. It's like they want to flip you over. They want to flip your world upside down. But you, you're you showing up in your warrior energy. You're not, you're not playing with these people or this person. You may be receiving some type of message for some of you. That has to do with either your abundance or disconnection. Something like that. But, and something I also was getting is that someone, there could be a masculine that is surrounded by a lot of wolves, friends and families. So he may invite you to some type of event and the people around him are going to be either too terrified to speak to you because they know you have some type of spiritual gifts or something. They don't want you to see through them. So they may not want him to invite you, but he's going to invite you anyways. Um, and they're going to be keeping their distance from you because they don't want you seeing anything about them, right? Someone is not happy that you're receiving this message. Someone is not happy that you are receiving good news, okay? They're bothered by your confidence. I'm telling you, there's something dark going on with these people. Something dark. Something, something dark, okay? Someone is upset you're still receiving good news about an opportunity, about work, that you're still moving forward. They cannot block your work. Someone may have been trying to block you us ability to work, showing up to your nine to five, maybe talking to your bosses to tell them to fire you, to let you go, cut your hours, something of that nature. And they're upset that you are still receiving good news about your work, you're still someone solid. They're still receiving good news. There's, it's like someone is expecting to hear some type of malicious news about you, but they get a positive news about you instead. And then they automatically have to rethink their life. It's like, oh, why am I after this person again? 
Um, and then there's someone just refusing to accept the news that they hear, heard about you. They say, yeah, this person is committed to their work. They are moving forward. This is a solid person. This is someone to invest with. And they're not happy about that. They didn't want to hear good news. But someone is hearing that you are ready for something. And they didn't want to hear that. They didn't want to hear that you were ready. They didn't want to hear that you were committed. And you are worthy of what's yours. I'm telling you, they're fighting. She. <laughs> They are fighting amongst themselves. Someone wanted to pick a fight with you, but they are fighting amongst themselves. This group, whoever it is, you defeated your enemies. And it was in a strategic way, but by the grace of the Most High. Like you move in a way that people don't understand. It's foreign to them. But the way you move is something that's guided by the Most High. It can seem chaotic to people. They don't understand. There's some people are mechanistic, right? They're very mechanistic. So if you come around and you're not mechanistic, it makes it throws them off. They think like you are crazy, delusional, uh, 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 mentally unstable, mentally unhinged, something like that. But just because they're mechanistic, does that mean you have to be? And your way of doing things has led to a victory for you. And they're fighting amongst themselves. Someone is, for some of you, someone is in like a one-sided battle. You're not even paying this person any attention. And they're picking fights with you and you're not responding. I'm telling you, this union is coming together. Whether this is a business union, whether this is a love union, whatever it is, whatever it is, honey. It's coming together. It is absolutely coming together. This is a union that's destined to be, it is divinely orchestrated by the most high you see your ancestors interfering here <clears throat> they're letting you know we've cleared the path for you what's yours is coming to you keep your mind on positive things don't let anyone get you out of character you are being supported okay and you're sailing onto common waters you're going to receive some type of upgrade in life Notice that you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. You're going to be receiving some type of upgrade in life that's going to help you move on. And all this fighting people want to do, picking fights with you, is over. People are having to move on. Because I think that people have been committed to steal something from some of you, whether it's a house, whether it's a job, whether it's some type of abundance that has to do with finances they cannot they're being sat down i'm telling you wow news you're most definitely receiving some type of message it could be a letter it could be an email text message dm someone could be coming to you in person Absolutely divine intervention. I told you it was a strategic plan by the, by the Most High. And what do you see here? The Six of Wands has to do with logic. Strategically overcoming and defeating your enemies. And while you are being strategic about it, they'll make they'll think like you are chaotic. You don't know what you're doing. You're someone that brings comes with trouble. They don't realize that you are strategically taking them down and you strategically want but it's by the help of the most high there's there's a force that comes with you and they're telling you what to do and when to do it just in time so it's not accidental okay this uh, nothing is coincidental nothing is accidental it fell out i'm gonna put it there okay how you overcame your enemies was strategic by the most high there was divine intervention divine intervention and this institution is having to let go they're being sat down this is a whole group a group of people this is not one person okay you could be connecting with a higher level soulmate you two could end up getting married okay someone has been intervening on your behalf this devil card keeps coming at the bottom. There is absolutely something going on with a coat. Some type of dark practice. 
there's a group that is into dark practices and it's day at honey whatever there is a group that is into dark practices some of them may be bothered because you are aware of the things they've been doing aware of the things they've been doing they don't want you to know but you already know and they're bothered by it it's like also what i just got it's like there's people going from being spiteful towards some of you wanting to block you wanting to block some type of romantic offer to now supporting it and this is because they may have gone through some type of karma so they're going from blocking you to now supporting you. That is so odd. They may want to come in and give you some type of financial payout to compensate you for your loss, something. Yeah, you absolutely. Judgment has been called on a family or a couple. Judgment has been called on a family or a couple. This could be why they're wanting to pay you off. It's a lot of divine intervention here. We have the temperance. We have the sun. We have the judgment card out here. Absolutely. Something is being looked over. Page of Cups. There's a lot of divine intervention. We have the moon. We have the, the uh, two of cups as well. Absolutely some type of divine intervention taking place. And these people were not expecting this. They've done this before from what I'm hearing. They've done this before. And they were expecting to succeed. They were expecting to succeed. You and whoever this is, yeah, someone is still, someone wants to still come in and defeat you. You and whoever this is, you two are going through the same thing. You are mirroring each other. So this person is in their life somewhere. You two may not even be in connection. And you two are mirroring each other with the experiences, the betrayals, the setbacks, all of that. You're mirroring each other. There's betrayal that you all went through. Someone close to you could have betrayed you. This could have been a family member or a close friend, possibly a feminine energy that betray your counterpart and you two have been mirroring each other. But there's a whole group that has been putting in effort to block a union from coming into being. Okay. Like that dream, it just seems so like just staged. Like the people were not happy. It's like they were just there doing what they had to do. It was just another day of being trapped. Just another day of being trapped. in here because he has chosen to bring balance into a situation to basically give someone what belongs to them it has upset another person it's like no we can't give it to them we cannot give her this you cannot be with this person there's something like that it's that like this man wants to bring balance into a chaotic situation and someone is upset 
someone is upset. They may have tried to bribe this person, try to unalive this person, try to do something to this person. But he's still going to do the right thing. There's, a, there's Queen of Pentacles has been showing up in my readings for a while. This woman, something is wrong with her. Something is wrong with this woman. That's all I'm going to say. It said this woman does not want someone receiving help. She does not want someone receiving assistance. I keep hearing her say, don't help her. Don't help him. Something like that. It says someone thrives off of someone else being in poverty or something like that. And she has no shame about it. But those very words are going to come back to hunt her. She does not want you receiving any type of financial assistance. She does not want anyone helping you. There could be a there could very well be an emperor that turned his back on someone. But you're still sealing the karma waters. You're still healing, you're still moving on. So there's a couple in here, something is over for them. There is a couple in here, something is over for them. They're no longer receiving some type of financial payout. It's like they were doing something behind the scenes and the longer they did it, the more money they were receiving. Something has been illuminated, the truth has been illuminated. And by some type of action or plan they took against you, and it has led to an ending. They can't, they're not receiving any more financial payouts. These people were living in bliss before, celebrating, living a good life. Probably eating T-bone steaks where you were eating something else. Talking about, please stop, can I have some more? And these people were living off of your uh, detriment. They said, yeah, 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 we know they're struggling over there, but we're living good, that's all that matters. And Spirit said, oh, okay. Balance. Let's bring balance into this situation. Okay, these people are taking a calculator risk. They are taking a calculator risk to approach you. There's no other way around it. They have to let go of what's yours. You could have a queen of swords that's coming towards you, or this could be someone that was up against you before, but someone is being sent towards you. <laughs> you saw how the car spin? I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. This is crazy. Someone went from wanting to fight to wanting to seal the common waters with you, wanting to heal. You may have encouraged someone to heal. Someone wants to interfere with your healing. Is it why is she healing? How is she healing? Why is he healing? How is he healing? No, but they can't come around you. These people have been committed. And I don't think some of you understand how committed they've been. Extremely committed to taking you down. They didn't care who they had to pay. There's an organization that paid a couple there's an organization that paid a couple to betray an emperor. And the masculine in this relationship has known this emperor for a long time. For a long time. And the friendship is going to be over. It is going to be over. 
listen, it's going to be over. The world came out. It is absolutely over. That friendship, whatever it was, this was this was the two gentlemen before, friends. It's not happening anymore. Once the truth comes out. This emperor may not even know that his friend is up against him, has been betraying him, or he may know and he's just keeping it to himself. But there was a couple that was paid to block an emperor and a queen of pentacles from coming together. There was a couple that was paid to discourage an emperor from assisting the queen of pentacles. He said, if you help her, you'll just be throwing your money away. I haven't heard anything good about her. She's not worth investing into. There's a guy that's still in this so masculine about a feminine energy. That is crazy. And the person that's speaking to this emperor does not even know the feminine energy that well. So this emperor is probably looking at him like, how do you know so much about this person? And you haven't known them that long. You just met this person. Something is not adding up for the emperor. Two and two are not adding up. You're about to be in your privileged energy because you're going to be receiving some type of promotion in your life. Something you've worked really hard for. And people have been working to block you from receiving it. You may not even know that you're about to be in some type of committed relationship. It's been a secret. You may not know that your divine counterpart is going through the same thing you're going through. So you two will understand each other on a spiritual level when you get together. I'm hearing a lot in here. That's for someone specific. You and your divine counterpart, you are experiencing the same thing. Betrayal. And there's divine intervention. You two are protected on your journeys until you come together. Your pathway is clear. No matter how much people try to defeat you, your pathway is clear. Someone, someone could have trapped themselves into something they cannot get out of. That was their choice to make. That was their choice to make. But you, if you can see this, you have good news coming in. The truth has been seen about you. Something is being looked over. It's like something is not adding up. This same story keeps coming out but from different perspectives, different narratives. But it's the same thing at the end of the day that the truth has been discovered and something that was wrong, something wrong that was done is being made right. Okay. There could have been an emperor. There was not even an emperor. Someone was invited to some type of gathering and they were bribed by an organization, by a group to do something to someone else. Let's do our angel number. Your angels are exposing the truth. Someone is being asked a lot of questions. They cannot answer. This chapter is over. You've completed this chapter. People didn't want you completing this chapter, but you have. Source, what is your message to us, your advice? Four, four, four. Hey, <laughs> here it goes. Trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds, and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. So some of you could not be feeling like you are secure right now in life, but you are absolutely secure. And the universe is letting you know that four, four, four has the number four has to do with protection. So if you're seeing the number four a lot, that means that your angels are letting you know that you are okay, you are protected, they're watching over you. So you may be going through some tumultuous times right now where things feel uncertain, you don't know how 
things are going to turn out that's not for you to worry about let them do do that let them take care of stuff let them do the worrying but they're not really worried because they already know the future so you need to calm your little mind down okay calm your mind down focus on positive things do things that make you happy get out of the house go for a walk go to the movies go out to eat something take care of yourself do your nails take a bath something honey get your minds off of your worries and that's something I had to learn through experience because the whole time you're sitting there worried about what's going wrong in your life, it's not changing anything. And that's something I had to learn at some point in my life. So even when the enemies are doing tactics to cause you some type of distress, get you out of balance, don't pay them any mind, okay? This, these are tactics that the enemies use, right? To lower your vibration. And you don't have any business residing in a low vibration and vibrational energy. If you really deem yourself to be a child of the Most High, you have nothing to worry about. So let life unfold naturally. Stop trying to control things. Stop trying to fix things your way. Let them do it. Let them interfere on your behalf. And your victory is ensured. So I'll see you in my next read. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.